Hello there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to lead you through a slow and controlled full body workout. This workout contains Pilates, yoga, and ballet elements, my favorites. And we're really just going to take our time working our way through each of these beautiful exercise combinations because a lot of times I see people really speeding through exercises thinking that, okay, I'm getting my heart rate up and you know I'm really, really benefiting from this. And not to say that you can't move quickly and benefit from it, of course you can, but if you're moving fast and kind of just slopping through the movements and only relying on the momentum behind the movements, then you're really not in control. And when you're not in control, your body doesn't get all of the benefits. So we're going to slow it down so you are forced to stay in control of the movement. This is really going to challenge your overall strength, flexibility, mobility, balance, and of course, control. So grab your mats and let's get started. Sit up tall near the edge of your mat, legs long, arms long. Inhale to scoop the belly, exhale to tuck your tail, and very, very slowly, I want you to roll all the way down, really articulating through the spine, bone by bone by bone, and gently place your arms by your sides as you relax your head down. Bring your legs to your tabletop position. So we're squeezing the legs together, shins are parallel to the ceiling, and let's curl up the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. I want you to hold this position and just breathe deep, making sure you're really pressing your lower back into the mat. As I said, squeezing those legs together, so we're activating those inner thighs. Try to relax the shoulders, no tension in the neck. In fact, turn your head side to side. You should be able to, no problem. Your core should be doing all the work here, so no tension in the neck. Steady your head and let's lace up the fingers behind. Elbows stay nice and wide and let's just take some slow pulses upwards. So we go pulse and pulse. They're teeny tiny, but if you're doing it right, your core should already be on fire, mine is. And pulse, good, give me eight more. Little exhale, inhale, exhale, and three, woo, four, and five, six, seven, Hold eight, good. From here, reach your arms forward. Lengthen out your right leg only, and then bring it back in. Lengthen out the left, and bring it in. Keep going, right leg inhale, exhale in, and left, and in. Good, four more, reach and in. Keep pressing your lower back into the mat. Last two. My core is shaking already. Last one. And bring it in. Good. Hug your legs and gently lower your head down. Close your eyes. Breathe deep and gently rock your knees side to side, massaging out your lower back. Good work, everybody. Let's return our legs back to that same tabletop pose, squeezing the legs together, activating the inner thighs, shins parallel to the ceiling, arms out to the side like a T. Let's go for our tick-tocks. So, very slowly, I want you to tilt your legs to the left. And when I say slow, I mean go really, really slow. And you're going to place your legs on the floor so gently that you don't make any noise. 
Once the legs make it down there, try to relax your entire body into the floor. Take some deep breaths. And then press your arms into the floor. Activate your core. Keep squeezing your legs together and slowly lift the legs off the floor. And return them back to center. Hello, obliques. Good, and let's go the other way. Again, take your time, everybody. The slower you go, the better. Really stay in control. Place the legs on the floor so gently. And once you make it down there, breathe deep, relax your body into the floor. And then press your arms down, engage your core, squeeze your legs together, slowly lift the legs off the floor and return them back to center. Woo, nice work everybody. Place your hands on your knees and let's just stir the legs around. Breathing deep, try to let your arms do all the work here so you can really Release the hips, get them moving, get them warm. You also feel a nice stretch in your inner thighs. Good. And join your legs together. Let's lengthen the legs up. Choose your foot position, pointed, relaxed, or flexed, your choice, and then find your externally rotated position. So you're going to turn your legs out, squeezing your inner thighs and heels together. Reach your fingertips up to the sky and flip your palms so they're facing in towards one another. You can keep your head down. However, if you're feeling good and strong today, I want you to engage your core so you can curl up your head, neck and shoulders. Again, fingertips and toes are reaching to the sky. Let's try our single leg drop. As you drop your right leg down, I want you to also arc your right arm back so your right arm ends up right next to your right ear. Your limbs are just hovering the floor. We're not lowering down all the way. And then return back to your starting position, squeezing your inner thighs and heels together. Let's do the same thing on the second side, releasing your left arm and left leg. They lengthen apart in opposition. Reach, reach your limbs long and slowly return back to center. Good, let's keep going with this right side. Deep inhale to lengthen your limbs apart. Exhale, return back to your starting position. And here's the left. Keep pressing your lower back into the mat and return back to center. Woo, good, we have four more. Stick with me, right side. Lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, return. Left side, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, return. Good, one more time, both sides. And return. And last time, left side. And return. Nice work, everybody. Hug your legs together. That's a killer. And lower the head down. Close your eyes. Rock your knees side to side. Let's place our hands underneath our bottom for this next one. And again, same leg position that we were just in. Lengthen your legs up, choose your foot position, and once again, find your beautiful externally rotated leg line. Head could stay down or crunch up nice and high. And let's see if we can move both legs together. So squeezing your heels and inner thighs together. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift up. 
nice and slow again. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bring it up. And again, keeping the length in your legs. Exhale, up. And of course, keep pressing your lower back into the mat. Don't let your back arch. We have four more. You can do it. Think happy thoughts. Breathing deep. Exhale. Up and lower. Long legs. Exhale. Up. Two more. Last one, make it good. Nice work, everybody. From here, keep your legs up, just lower your head down and let's adjust our arms out to the side like a T. Legs will stay externally rotated, but this time I want you to flex your feet if they're not already flexed. Really feel that strong rotation externally rotating from the hips, squeezing the heels and inner thighs together. I want you to just open your right leg out to the side and make sure you're really pressing your arms down into the floor for support. Just the right leg opens. Try not to move anything else. Don't let your body rock and roll. And then use your inner thigh to join your heels and inner thighs back together. Let's try it on the left. Just move the left leg. Try not to move anything else. If you're doing this correctly, it should feel a lot harder than it looks. Open out and then squeeze it back in. Good, let's keep going with this. Strong arms pressing into the floor. Right leg opens out. Nothing else moves. And squeeze it back in. Left leg open. And squeeze it back in. Good, keep going friends, right leg. Squeeze it in. And here's your last rep, left leg. And now let's move both legs together opening out to your center or straddle split we're going to hold it here everybody i want you to crunch up nice and high reaching your arms in front of you in between your legs legs are long feet are flexed breathe deep feel the energy shooting out of your heels shooting out of your fingertips and let's go back to those same little pulses that we did at the beginning and pulse, reach. You're striving to bring your last rib closer to your hip bone, but we're still pressing the lower back into the mat. Last two pulses. Hold, smile. Gently lower the head down, arms out to the side like a T. Use your inner thighs and squeeze those legs back together. Nice work, everybody. Let's do that whole thing again. Both legs open out, center, straddle split. When you're ready, crunch up high, reach your arms forward. Feel the length in all of your limbs and give me eight pulses. One, nice and slow, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, hold and breathe. Gently lower the head down, arms out to the side like a T, and slowly bring your legs back together, activating those inner thighs. Woohoo! Nice work, everybody. Good. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Again, hands go on the knees. Stir your legs around just to release your hips. 
And let's go into a grand plié exercise next. So for this one, we're going to flex the feet and open the knees out to the side so you're in your butterfly or ballet grand plié in first position. Lace up the fingers, hands go behind the head, elbows of course nice and wide when you're ready, curl up your head, neck and shoulders. From here, press out, energy shooting out of your heels. Then to bring the legs in, open back out to that same straddle position and then join your heels back together. Let's do that again. Inhale out, exhale in, <sighs> inhale open, and exhale, heels come together. Again, press out, bend it in, open wide, heels together. Again, energy shooting out of those heels, bend it in open and in, push out and in and open. Let's do one more set for good luck. Lengthen out, bend in and this time hold your straddle split. Place your hands on your ankles, calves, inner thighs, whatever feels best for you. Lower the head down and just circle the feet around just to release the ankles, get some mobility going in the feet and toes. Good. Maybe reverse your circle, try to go both ways. A lot of cracking going on today. Nice work, everybody. And use your hands to guide your legs together and then just bend the knees to return back to your home base. Rocking your knees side to side and we'll move on to our next little series. Let's try a single leg stretch variation. It's almost like a little single leg stretch dance, if you will. So let me talk you through this and then we'll go for it. Lace up your fingers, hands go behind the head again for this one. Keep your knees in towards your chest, elbows wide. When you're ready, engage in your core, crunch up high. Lower back pressing into the mat and we're going to start with the right leg. I want you to first extend your leg out and then bring it in. Lengthen your right leg up and then lower it down. Now take your left foot or toes and you're going to try to cross it over. Return back and then bring your right knee in. Whoa! Okay, let's do it again. This time on the second side. Nice and slow, everybody. Lengthen your left leg out, bring it in. Lengthen your left leg up as long as you can make it and then lower down. Hold here, cross your right toes over, try to tap the floor. Even if you can't, just try to cross it over as much as you can, return it back. Woo! And then bring that left knee back in. And here we go, first side again, right leg. Inhale out, exhale in, inhale up, exhale lower, inhale cross, exhale return, and inhale in, and exhale to release. <sighs> Left leg out, bring it in, lengthen up. Lower down and hold. Cross over. Return and in. And let's go again. Right leg out. Bring it in. Lengthen up. 
lower down, left toes cross, return, knee in, and here we go, left side last time, lengthen out, and in, longest leg you can make, lower down, toes cross over, return to center, knee in, and relax the head down. Woo, that is a tough one. All right, everybody, rock your knees, stir your legs, maybe turn your head side to side, whatever your body needs. And from here, let's go right into a beautiful shoulder bridge exercise and get the back of the body working a little bit more. Feet flat on the floor, everybody. Legs and feet in the parallel line, about hip width apart. And I want you to lengthen your right leg on the floor. Choose whatever foot position is best for you. And once again, find your externally rotated leg line with that right side. So turn it out. Press your arms into the floor, everybody, as well as your left foot and I want you to lift up into your shoulder bridge as you float your right leg up. So you should end up with your hips nice and lifted and level. Right leg is turned out and as long as you can make it. From here, keep your hips up. And let's slowly lower the right leg down so it's parallel to the floor and then lengthen it back up and again lower and lift no extra movement in the body everybody just that right leg moves from the hip joint take it down hips stay lifted and level lower and lift give me two more and last one Good work, everybody. From here, lower your right foot down to the floor. Make any little adjustments you need to make. Let's place our hands on our hips, just so you can really feel that you don't have one hip higher than the other or any twisting going on. I want you to pulse down, up, and squeeze. Three and four. Keep going five, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstrings at the top of the lift. And again, squeeze one and two and three, nice and slow. Four more, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. And last one, beautiful work, everybody. Slowly, slowly articulate through the spine, bone by bone by bone by bone. Pass through your imprint, return your spine to neutral, and then just place your arms by your sides. Let's do the same thing on the second side. Lengthen out your left leg. Choose your foot position. Externally rotate your leg, and when you're ready, you're pressing into the floor with both arms and your right foot. Tuck the tail, imprint your spine, lift up into your shoulder bridge. Take a moment to feel your hips are nice and lifted and level, that right side should be working hard. And here we go, lowering the left leg down towards the floor so it's about parallel to the floor and lengthen up. And lower and lift, just the left leg moves everything else stays nice and quiet four more lower and lift keep the left leg really long last two last one nice work everybody from here gently lower your left foot down Make any little adjustments you need to make. 
And let's amp up our pulses this time by lifting our heels off the mat. So you'll probably have to scoot your feet in just a little bit closer to your bottom so you can really lift those heels up. Hands go on the hips. Make sure you're breathing nice and deep. And let's pulse. One. And two. Three. Squeeze and lift. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Give me eight more. And if you hear Lulu barking, she's saying hello. Apparently she has a lot to say today, which is driving mommy crazy. <laughs> lift and lift. Last two, squeeze up and squeeze up. Good work, everybody. Slowly articulate, rolling down through the spine, pass through your imprint, return to neutral, drop your heels down and just lengthen your legs out. You can open them about the width of the mat Let's also arc the arms back, opening your arms about the width of the mat so you're basically laying in a narrow X. Breathe deep here, just allow your body and every muscle to relax and melt into the floor. Good work, everybody. All right, stick with me. We're gonna flip over in a little bit, but before we do, let's do one more supine exercise. So I want you to basically stay where you are, but find your longest length in your legs. Choose whatever foot position is best for you. Float your arms off the floor so you can close the rib cage and find your neutral spine. Let's roll up in our wide leg position. Here we go, everybody. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Tuck your chin. Reach forward. Exhale to slowly peel your spine off the floor. Fingertips go on the floor. And slide and reach out. Good. Let's hang out here. Take some nice, deep breaths. Pretend like someone has your hands and they're just pulling your arms as long as you can. Feel the length in the spine, feel the stretch in the backs of the legs. Good. And from here, pull your navel to your spine, scooping the belly, tucking the tail. Let's slowly roll all the way down really placing one vertebra on the mat, one at a time. And then the head drops down, continue the arc with the arms, take a pause here, and now squeeze your legs together. Let's do another roll up in our traditional closed leg position. Here we go, friends, the slower the better, and go for it. Inhale, reach up. Tucking the chin, reaching forward. Peel the spine and exhaling over the legs, nose to your knees. Let's hang out here. You can place your hands on your feet or shins, whatever you can reach. Again, breathing deep, feeling the length in the spine, feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs. And pull your navel to your spine. And let's take our halfway point pause. From here, bring both knees in towards your chest, lifting the feet off the floor. You can point, you can flex, it's totally up to you. And let's flip the palms to face in. Let's go for some boat crunches, nice and slow. So we're extending the legs out, energy shooting out of your feet. And then we crunch in and lengthen, crunch in and lengthen, crunch in and lengthen, crunch it in. Nice work, everybody. From here, 
The left ball of the foot goes on the floor. Lengthen your right leg out. Right hand goes on the mat and let's lift up into our wild thing yoga pose. Hold and breathe. We're really arching the back, squeezing the glutes, pushing the hips up and forward. Beautiful. With control, lower down, and let's return back to our starting position to go for four more boat crunches. Here we go, friends. You can do it. And inhale out. Exhale in. Two. Three. And four. Good. Take a moment. Right ball of the foot goes on the floor. Lengthen your left leg. Left palm on the floor. And when you're ready, lift up. Arch the back. Hips forward. Squeeze the glutes. Hold and breathe. And slowly lower down. Woo! And return to that same position. This time we cross the arms like a genie. Let's go for our little pulses. Here we go, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, hold eight, lengthen to your teaser, grab onto your ankles or calves or thighs, whatever you can. If you can't stretch your legs all the way, you can just bend them a little bit. Hold here, shoulders down, belly scoop, tail tuck so you can balance. Good. And let's go for our ballet beats. So you're just going to cross one leg in front of the other. We're going to keep holding on to the legs and we just change, change, beat, 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 change. Good. Give me eight more and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to your teaser. Release your legs. Arms parallel to the legs. Hold, breathe, smile. Nice work, everybody. And from here, swing your legs around. And let's flip over into our tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And let's lengthen the right leg out to the side. Reach your right arm up. Really opening up the chest, twisting the back, and we'll thread the needle here. Right arm goes through. Place the right side of your face on the mat, and you should feel a really nice twist in the spine and stretch in that right inner thigh. Good. Push the floor away, reaching up with the right arm once again. And right hand goes down. Adjust your right leg behind you. You can point the foot, you flex the foot, externally rotate that right leg. Let's lift up into our beautiful ballet arabesque. And we're just going to pulse that leg up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Give me eight more. Staying in control, making each movement count. Squeeze the glutes. Six, seven, and 
and eight. Good, stick with me, friends. From here, lower your right leg down, return it back to your parallel line so you can tuck the toes under, and we're going to lift up into our high plank. Tuck your left toes under as well. Get the booty down, hold and breathe. Good, and from here, let's shift our weight back, bending the knees, rounding the back, tucking the tail and chin, and shoot out. Three more, shift back, shoot out, shift back, shoot out. One more, and shoot out. Good, stay in your center plank and let's adjust to our side plank. I want you to rotate to the right. So left hand goes right in the center so you can rotate right, lifting your right arm up. Hold and breathe, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. And then take your left leg, your bottom leg, we're going to bend it, adjust this arm, point the foot, and here we go, still working that right leg. Lift it up, give me 16 pulses, just like we did to the back, this time targeting the outer thigh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, lower the leg down, reach your fingertips up, back to that side plank, returning back to your center plank. Hold, core muscles working, and gently lower the knees down. And here you are, back into your tabletop. Make any adjustments you need to make. Here we go, second side, we gotta even it out. Left leg out to the side. Reach up with your left arm, twist, open the chest. Thread the needle through left side of your face on the mat. Hold and breathe. Enjoy the nice twist of the spine and the stretch in that left inner thigh. Good. Push the floor away. Use your core. Come back up. Reach up. Left arm twist. And left hand down. Take your left leg behind you. Turn it out. Choose your foot position. Lengthen your leg up into your ballet arabesque. Longest leg you can make. Tummy muscles working. Don't let the back arch. Don't lose your center. Here we go. 16 slow pulses. One, two, three, four squeezing the glutes at the top of the lift seven and eight more you can do it breathe one two three four five six seven last one eight good gently lower your leg down Internally rotate it back to your parallel line. We're tucking the left toes under. Tuck your right toes under. Find your beautiful high plank pose. No cheating, no booties up in the air. No sinking down in your center. Use your core. Hold, hold, hold. And let's take our four shifts back. Bending the knees, rounding the back, tucking the tail and chin and shoot out 
and again. Shoot out. Two more. Shift back. And out. And back. Nice work, everybody. Take a moment in your center high plank. And now we rotate to the left. Side plank. Left arm up. Hold and breathe. Shoulders stacked. Hips stacked. Take your bottom leg, which should be your right leg, bend it, adjust your top arm, point those left toes, lifting up the left leg, working the outer thigh, 16 pulses, you can do it everybody. One, breathe, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, almost there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold, lower your left leg down, adjust your arm, side plank, and back to your center plank. Booty down, tummy muscles working. Bend the knees. Woo! And take a moment, shifting back in your child's pose. Good work, everybody. Roll up through the spine and let's come onto the knees. One final variation to finish. Stack your shoulders right on top of the hips and right on top of the knees. Palms are facing out. Let's take a beautiful hinge back and you're really going to try to stay as stiff as a board all the way from the crown of your head to your knees. Here we go, friends. Take it back and return hinge it back and return two more back return last one and return beautiful from here i want you to reach your hands either to the floor or to your ankles or to your heels and let's go into our camel pose arching the back looking straight up to the sky hold and breathe really push those hips forward good Coming back up to the knees. Beautiful work. Come down, open those arms, and give yourself a huge hug. I'm so proud of all of you. I really hope you enjoyed this one. It's so much harder to move at a slower pace. So if you struggled with this one, don't worry. It's really challenging, but it's a great workout to revisit over and over and over again. It's not about perfection, it's about progress. Practice makes progress, everybody. Take care of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.